Yo guys, in today's tutorial I'm going to be showing you some hidden features on a light motion that most of you probably don't know about that can help you speed up your entire editing process while giving you the best results. I've already covered some extra hidden features and tips in my earlier video, so check that out after, grab your popcorn, and watch to the end because I saved the best for last. First off, in my previous video I had talked about elements but I forgot to mention that when you save text as elements, there's no need to ungroup the text in order to edit it, because they can be edited directly by going to the edit elements section and just replacing the text by typing the one you want in the space next to the original. If you want to know how to save elements in preset then check out the other tutorial. For those of you who don't know how to ungroup your layers, all you have to do is tap the group layer, then this three dots at the top right corner and tap ungroup. It's as simple as that. Now, before I tell you the best hidden features, let me show you this bonus feature I'm pretty sure you didn't know. By tapping on your video and heading to three dots at the top right side, you can press convert to outline and all edges of will the converted to vector points. You can add or remove points in order to mask your clip to any shape you want. The final feature I'll be showing you today, it's the paste style feature. It can be used to copy the scales, position, border, speed, basically anything from one layer to other multiple layers. I'm gonna start off by remapping and making a basic transition that I will be adding to the other clips. This is just an example, so I'll be speed running it. You'll select the layer you want to copy from and press the copy button. Then select the layers you want to copy to. Then hit the paste style button. Use this arrow at the side to select the individual components of what you want to copy to the other layers. I'll be selecting the speed, position, and scales in the effects because those are the only things we worked on. And after pasting it, you can see everything added to the first clip has been added to the others, including the time remap. You can do this on null layers too and other other layer of your choice. For more tips to improve your editing like this, check out my other tutorials and my editing pack link in the description below. See you in my next video. Bye!